Hey, Blake, just wanted to ask you, you know, how tough was it for you uh, finishing your Ohio State career the way you did with not being able to play in that national championship game and kind of how did you get past that? Yeah, it was very tough, um, you know, with the amount of success we had last year and, uh, you know, growing up, you know, a huge Buckeye fan, always wanted to be in the, the biggest stage uh, in that of a national championship. It, it, it was really, really hard for me to sit out on that one. Um, but, you know, it was being a supportive teammate throughout the week, had full confidence in the specialists and the guys, um, but not not being there was tough. But at the same time, you know, it's just it's, it's a little bit of adversity and, you know, uh, you got to come out of it stronger. And, you know, I think I'm in a really good mindset now. Thanks, Blake. All right, next up, we'll go to Alex Fleming. Alex? How you doing? Thank you for your time, Blake. Thanks for having me. I, so Ohio State made it to the championship game lost against Alabama, but you were able to beat Clemson, who beat you guys last year. What has this year taught you about how this politics in the game, and how is that going to get you ready for the next level? Yeah, you know, I obviously missing the national championship, like I said, it was some personal adversity. Um, but, you know, we experienced a lot of, you know, um, difficulties throughout the year with um, – you know, not being able to play at times. Um, so I think, you know, and, and one thing I've actually learned in this off season is, you know, you know, it just makes you stronger, um, you know, forms of adversity. So I think uh, going through what we went through just made us mentally tougher. Um, and, you know, you just grow as a person, team, um, you know, the kicker, whatever your position is, you just grow. All right, let's go next to uh, Nathan Baird. Nathan. Blake, you obviously dealt with uh, some injuries throughout last season as well. Just um, how did those mend up? How are you feeling now? And and what went into getting you, I guess, back to the health that you want to be at? Oh, I'm feeling absolutely fantastic. I uh, was hitting the ball great today, uh, probably better than I ever have. Um, it was awesome to be out there. I'm 100% healthy. And, um, you know, I think part of it's just the mentality, knowing you're going to come out stronger on the other side and uh, absolutely felt great today. Ready next up for Blake, uh, we'll go to Patrick Murphy. Patrick. Blake, uh, you, you said you did well today, but they didn't show the, the special team stuff on TV. Um, how did you do? What, what were you kicking? Can you kind of take us through your workout? Yeah, no. So the workout started off with field goals. I was just warming up, doing my own stuff, and sort of went um, back. I went left hash, right hash, left hash, right hash. Uh, five yards at a time, all between like 30 and 55 yards. Um, I thought I was hitting the ball really well. I got great height, great contact. And I just really enjoyed being out there. You know, whenever you're back at a place like this and, you know, a time you, uh, a place you spent so much time at, um, going out there and kicking on that field, it was just fun. I was out there loose, having a ton of fun, um, doing what I love. Right, next up, we'll go to Tim May. Tim. Blake, what, what do you think they're looking for when they look for a kicker? Obviously, you know, your record speaks for itself of putting it through the uprights and uh, leg strength, et cetera, when you're healthy. But uh, what is it that you think the NFL is looking for in a kicker? Because they go through a lot of them, it seems like, every year if you follow my drift. Absolutely. I think the biggest thing for a kicker and something that I, I work on uh, constantly is consistency, being as consistent as possible, consistent swing, follow through, mindset. Um, so you get consistent results. So that's been uh, one thing I think, uh, you know, teams looking kickers and something that I'm constantly working on and attempting to perfect. Did you reenact the uh, onside kicker, Chris Olave, just to show them you have that too? <laughs> <laughs> didn't do that today, but that was definitely a, a special moment throughout the career. That was so much fun. Thanks, man. All righty, next up, uh, Bill Rabinowitz, uh, Columbus Dispatch. Uh, um, Blake, did you make all your kicks today, first of all? Yeah, I mean, I, I made a bunch of them. I think I started off, I don't know the exact number in a row I made, but it was somewhere like eight to 10 with warm-ups and charting and everything like that. Missed a few, but came back, made a few uh, deep ones. So not, not, not all of them, but certainly a majority of them. Okay. And can I ask you about, about Jake, who I assume is going to be your successor? What, what stands out to, to you about him, and what do you think about his future at Ohio State? Yeah, I think Jake's a guy who approaches kicking um, with a really good mindset. He's a really athletic kicker, and he's a guy who's willing to learn. So I think with all that taken into account, he's going to be a fantastic uh, kicker here in the years to come. Thank you. Alrighty. And final question for Blake, we'll go to Jeremy Birmingham. Jeremy. 
Hey, Blake, all things considered with the injuries and missing the, the national championship game, what went into the decision to not return to Ohio State uh, this upcoming year? Because obviously you would have had the extra year of, of eligibility. Um, is it just they don't kick enough field goals or what? There's three freshman quarterbacks now. You know, there's going to be more. There's going to yeah. be more field goals. Yeah, no, I think the biggest thing for me was, you know, just being here uh, a full four years and, and, and having the opportunity to put so much stuff on tape. I really feel as though, you know, I showed just about everything I could um, and having a career as a kicker and couldn't be more more happy and grateful for the opportunities I was given in Ohio State because I certainly enjoyed my time here. And, you know, I can't say enough how supportive I am of all the fans and the culture around here. I'll definitely miss it, but it, it was time that I enjoyed and had a ton of fun with. Awesome. Was there well, any second so guessing? Was, was there any thought to maybe return or not? Uh, yeah, you know, a little bit. Whenever you get done with the year, you know, you, you look at your options. But, um, you know, I'm very confident in the decision uh, coming out this year. Awesome. Thank Blake, you. thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.